What's up Hoopers, this is Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and we're gonna go over some shooting drills to help you work on your three-point shooting. Let's get started. All right, Hoopers, like I said, we're going to go over some shooting drills to help you work on your three-point shooting. So let's dive right into it and let's get started. The first drill we're going to work on is flare shooting. Okay, so I've got Buddy out here as my screener. So with Buddy here as my screener, a flare means you're coming off of a screen instead of cutting in front of the screen. We're going to take a step in and we're going to flare over the top. Okay, so we're here, we take that step in, we flare over the top, and you're gonna receive a pass if you have somebody there with you to pass you the ball, that's great. If you don't, then what you'll do is you're gonna start at the top, we're gonna work two sides of the court. All we're going to do is take a step in, throw it over the top, catch, and shoot. Okay, so that's the flare shooting drill. After you've done three sets of making 10 on the lift, on this side, then you'll do the same thing on the other. All we're doing, we're gonna take that step in. And the step that you take in is this foot closest to your screener. Okay, so we wanna take that step in and then we're out, right? So we're here, we throw it over the top, catch, shoot, right into that flare shot. All right, so the first drill, flare threes, here it is in full speed. When I feel like I'm dead, not alive. Then I feel right, I bled from my eyes. Maybe your tragedy call me your majesty. You know one bad as me, Aggie like Aggie. See, lacking, you slacking. Ain't no one can test me. I'm black and I'm black and I'm black and then Wesley. My flow is amazing. Your flow is just average. I'm feeling established. Your life is savage. Decent on beast. Ain't no time for the peace. For the least, I'm deceased. It was known in the streets. Darkness is relevant. Look at the president. Maybe it's negligent. Maybe it's savage. And I just be knowing that people be showing their colors. And it's because they color me black. All right, Hoopers, let's move on to the next drill. We're going to be working on a fade shooting drill. So we just did flares where you're flaring over the top. Now we're going to fade out, okay? So with this drill, it's as if we're coming off of the screen to get a pass here off of like a curl action. But now we're saying the defender jumps, right? So this, whoever is guarding us instead of trailing behind us is trying to shoot this gap to take this pass away. So instead of curling around the screen, we're going to hit this screen here and instead of coming around, we're going to hit it, we're going to pop out here for a three point jump shot because our defender jumps here, now we pop out that way and now they're two or three steps behind the play, by that time it's too late, we've already got the shot off, okay? So with this, we want to come up here, we want to plant off that inside foot, pop back, catch, shoot if you have someone to pass you if not then you would look like this we're going to spin the ball out boom catch turn and shoot so notice the footwork i hit in the, with that inside foot okay i push off one two and i'm squared towards the basket all right so we're using this again because we see our defender cheat the play boom turn catch shoot right into our jumper off of the fade, all right? Be able to read your defender and make this reaction the right read in order to get your three-point shot. This is fade three-point shooting in full speed. Hoopers, let's move on to drill number three. We're now going to be working on a wide curl three-point shooting drill. So we just worked on the fade, right? And so we're getting to that screen and we're popping out. And now we're going to be coming fully around the screen. So we're going to start here on this wing area. And all we're going to do is throw the ball out. So when we come off the screen, we're curling it tight, you know, close to we're coming off shoulder to shoulder from our screener. Because that's Buddy is our screener right now. We don't want to allow any room for the defender to get through to disrupt what we're trying to accomplish. Okay, so we're gonna be out here again. If you have somebody that can pass you the ball, that's fine. If you're like me and you don't, and you're just doing it by yourself, all we're gonna do is spin the ball out, come off, tight curl, catch and shoot. 
All right, now, here's what I want you to think about. When you're doing this drill, whether you're getting a pass with yourself or somebody else, when you come off, it's that inside foot that I want you to plant first. Okay, so we want to be here, right? One, two, okay? That inside foot, we're coming off, one, two. We don't want to be swinging it here, one, two. You know, it's not going to be as comfortable and fluid for your jumper. So I want to be here, I want to set my defender up, I want to come off hard, one, two, right into my pull-up jump shot. Okay, so the last time on the fade shooting, we were reading the defender cheating and trying to shoot the gap. Now we're reading our defenders locked in trail, meaning they're on our back, right? They're not shooting the gap, but they're on our back chasing us. So that's why we want to come off shoulder to shoulder so there's no room for them to get through. We run them into our screener. We get freed up for our jumper, right? You can even do it in a way where you catch it and you take one hard dribble away from them to create even more space if you'd like. But this is the wide curl three-point shooting drill. So now we got our defender on our back. Run them into the screen and get your shot. Check it out in full speed. All right, the fourth drill we're going to be working on is a hesitation pull up three. But we're going to go between the legs to help us rock into our hesitation. Okay, so with this, it's going to be like we're coming down in transition, defenders backing up, we go between, we hesitate, we're right into our shot. Okay, so with the between the legs, we want to bounce a little bit to create that hesitation and rhythm into our three point jumper. So, what I'm saying is, when I go between the legs, I want to lift and hop and glide. Okay, lift, hop a little on that bounce, right? So, we're lift, hop, and glide. We're gliding into that jumper. So, we've got the lift part with our body, we hop and glide forward into our pull up jump shot. Okay, so use this in transition where defenders are back on their heels trying to stop you, but not yet broken down in their positioning. Okay, so I'm coming at this defender hard. Boom. Okay, and you just got to rise up, get your feet underneath you, make sure you're squared towards the basket if you're trying to become a better shooter and to be able to knock it down consistently. Shoulder square at high release, watch it go in. This is the fourth drill to help you become a better three point shooter in full speed. The hesitation between the legs pull up three point jumper. Here it is. Check it out. And their families and their community. All right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video on giving you a couple of drills to help you become a better three point shooter. Now, if you liked it, click the thumbs up button. If you want to leave a comment, it's the little cloud button. Let us know what you think and anything else you want to see as we try to continue to give you the best on court training possible to help your game develop and become the best player that you can be. The most important thing you need to do is hit that subscribe button and join Think Pro Basketball. Check out all the great content that we have to offer designed to help you improve your game. Now, it's your job to get out there, hit the gym, hit the court, work on the four drills that you've seen today to develop into a knockdown three-point shooter. And until I see you again next time, remember to always keep hooping.